Welcome, I'm Jan Kugel and this is another episode of Letters to Avoid, a series about GMP, where we examine regulatory mistakes made by companies worldwide. Those errors caused them an FDA warning letter, and this is important that we learn from them. In this video I will talk about mistakes you should avoid when testing your drug product before release. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and follow me on LinkedIn so you don't miss new episodes. Now to the matter at hand. The case study for this segment I have taken from an FDA warning letter sent to Huyan Zhongeng Biotech in January 2020. I doubt that I pronounce it correctly, but it is what it is. The company manufactures toothpaste, which is considered to be a cosmetic product in the European Union. The FDA, however, classifies it as an over-the-counter medicine because it contains fluoride. This means that for a toothpaste to be sold in the USA, it must comply with CGMP as codified at 21 CFR 210 and 211. 21 CFR section 211 165 requires manufacturers to make sure that their final product conforms to the final specifications. The test must verify the identity and the strength of each active ingredient before batch release. Unfortunately, the company didn't follow the requirements. It didn't test the final product sufficiently before releasing it. It did let a third-party lab perform an essay, but a purity test alone is not enough. On top of that, it didn't retain any samples of the product. This means that it can't even perform a retroactive examination. Verifying that the final product conforms to all specifications is very important. If the company validated the process well, deviations can still occur. Moreover, let us not forget possible human errors. In summary, before releasing a batch of a final product, you must make sure that it is analyzed according to a well-thought inspection plan. It must include vital tests such as identity, purity, APIs, and microbiological tests. Additional tests may be required for different drug types, so make sure to inform yourself. I hope you found this episode informative and helpful. If you did, share it with your colleagues. Stay compliant and see you in the next segment.